All right, welcome back. On Monday, classes at UNLV will be back in session, which means you only get one chance to make a fashion first impression. To help us get our fashion right, please welcome Charles Whippy, fashion consultant and owner of Chivalry Lives. Welcome, sir. Thank you for having us. First off, how did you discover your passion for fashion? Well, I've been in a church all my life. My mom raised me just dressing up all the time, and so I got to an age where I wanted to dress for myself, and I got voted best dress in high school, nice. and just kind of took it from there. And they voted for the right guy. You are styled from head to toe. You're not too bad yourself. Thank you. Look at, let's talk some essentials that every guy should have. What do we have Absolutely. right here? So we have, this is a little bit for the, the college age, um, some boat shoes, you know, some loafer type of shoes. These like the dockers? Yeah. Like the, the, the dock sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, um, you can have, like, with the casual look or even a formal leather, just a full leather would be a nice addition to a wardrobe. Every man should have some crew necks, you know, some, some crew neck sweaters or t-shirts that you just wear on an everyday basis. Is the v-neck still in style? The v-neck is still in style. And yeah. then with these shoes, jeans, suit, what am I wearing you can these wear shoes? Ju with? Jeans, khakis, suit, doesn't matter. All They're right. very versatile. Let's talk about some back to school fashion. We have some models. Absolutely. Who do we want to start off with first? We're going to go with the middle schooler here. This is actually my nephew, Martavion. <laughs> Look at you. And he's wearing a white denim jacket with the Lakers. You know, in Las Vegas, we're very close to LA. So it's, it's just a matter of time before all the Lakers fans buy out all the, the Lakers t shirts. So we got him one before school started for him. And he's got on the bright color shoes. That's a fashion trend that you'll see. Uh, this the bright color sneakers. Bright, bright color sneakers are everywhere in the stores. And this is a, a color we're going to see this fall is that this white of a jacket? Yeah, that white of a jacket is actually in stores now. Uh, obviously, after Labor Day, you'll start seeing it phase out a little bit, but schools are started for some already, mm -hmm. right? So the white jacket is definitely a staple for them to have. All right, uh, let's bring up model number two. All right, this is a look I love for I high love schoolers. Uh, he's got the faux leather jacket and you got the hoodie here with the, it's a sweater hoodie, so he can wear it without the jacket and with the Skinny jeans to the tight fit, that's really yeah, in, obviously. Yeah, kidding me? <laughs> yeah, obviously. The skinnier, the better. And then he's got the deck shoes on, right? So they're, they're not too formal. They're not, you know, too casual. They're right there in the middle. It gives them a good um, taste of high school where he can, he can show some flavor. Why do I, is this now, I felt like the lighter color jeans were out of style for the longest time. All my jeans are like this, like yeah, dark blue, yeah. black. This is the style coming in this fall? You'll see a lot of, in the stores, all in the stores, H&M's, Forever 21's, uh, Express jeans, you'll see the lighter colors, Stonewash. They'll be distressed a lot of times as well. Uh, we, we went away from the distressed look to keep it a little bit more. Keep it more classy, yeah. sure. What kind of belt? Are you rocking a belt or no? He's not rocking the belt today because of his, his shirt is actually covering the belt line. Okay. So the belt is not as important, but he could wear a canvas belt with this outfit as well, or a black. You're looking good. Let's bring out model number three. Uh, this is our classic college look. I love this V-neck sweater. Good. You asked about V-necks. Yep, uh -huh. This is a V-neck sweater. I like the striping on the side adds a little bit of a flare on that sweater. He also has the flannel shirt underneath where he can wear that without the sweater as well. It's a button up. He can wear it un untucked or tucked. And then I love the chino pants. So the chino pants are typically in an off-white color or a white color. I like this color. This but blue, that blue, blue color, it gives it a, a nice touch because it, it's between a jean and a khaki pant. Yep. So it's a, it's really uh, casual feeling, but a little bit more of a formal look. And then we threw on the threw on the white sneakers just to make it a little more casual. And again, he could throw on the loafers as well. It, it, it'll be a great look on him. Can we ever just do the sweater? Because I love the, the V-neck sweater. Can you just ever do that underneath, or that you need to have a collar or something underneath? No, you can you can do that. a V-neck shirt underneath. Uh, that's a preference. If you're going to do a V-neck sweater, you want to do a V-neck T-shirt underneath. Underneath it. Yes. Let's get those models out here. One final look. You guys all look great. This fashion's all dialed in. And Lakers, too, here. Yeah, you know what? LeBron coming to L.A., that's the big thing. The He's big not thing. even a Lakers fan, but I made him wear it. <laughs> you got to get him dressed up looking right. Thank you so much, Tom. We appreciate it. You guys are looking sharp. You're going to crush it at school this semester, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Charles, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Jason. And real quick, fashion. Standing up, jacket, button, unbutton. What's the rule? Standing up, button the top button Always if button. it's a two button. If it's a one button, you can do the, the only button. If you're wearing a three button, it's probably older than you should wear, but the, top, but the <laughs> middle button is a nest. Get rid of it. <laughs> and then sitting down. Always, sitting down, open it up. Always unbuttoned, right? That's correct. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, you're Charles. Welcome. Courtney, let's.